Good morning, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on surgical diatomy. Introduction Diatomy is an electrosurgical tool used widely in surgery to cut or coagulate tissues. Components of the electrosurgical unit include diatomy active or live electrode, neutral or passive plate, diatomy case, which has adjustment controls for frequency, voltage, etc., an isolating capacitor located between the patient's plate and earth. The isolating capacitor has low impedance to diatomy current, high frequency AC, has high impedance to 50 Hz AC current, and protects the patient against electrical shock. Mechanism of Action The heat generated during diatomy occurs when an electric current passes through a resistance that is concentrated in the probe itself. Principles of Electricity Kindly refer to the video on principles of electricity for further details. Heat generated by surgical diatomy is proportional to the power, which is typically 50 to 400 watts, and current density, which is current per unit area, current to the power of 2 divided by A area. The amount of heat generated equals current to the power of 2 divided by A area. If the current is applied over a small area, the current density is high and a lot of heat is produced. If the same current is applied over a large area, then the current density is low and no heating occurs. Frequency Although burning and heating effects can occur at all frequencies, diatomy uses high frequency 1 MHz current due to enhanced safety. High frequency sine waveform typically at 0.5 MHz is used for cutting. A damped waveform typically 1 to 1.5 MHz is used for coagulation. The entire effect is heat generation for current frequency more than 100,000 Hz. The highest risk of an adverse physiological event such as ventricular fibrillation occurs at about 50 Hz, which is the UK mains frequency. Very high frequency current has minimal tissue penetration and does not cause excitation to contractile cells and passes across the myocardium without ill effect. Chronexy refers to the minimum time required for a constant electric current, which is double the threshold strength needed to stimulate a specific muscle or neuron. The myocardium has a chronexy of 3 milliseconds. High frequency diatomy ensures that it does not exert a prolonged constant current, thus it is unlikely to trigger ventricular fibrillation. Waveforms can be cutting, coagulation, or blended. Cutting diatomy this waveform consists of a sustained high-frequency AC waveform, 0.5 to 1 MHz, at a voltage of 250 to 3000 volts. The sine wave continues until the switch is off. It uses high energy and is used to cut tissues via a fine electrode. Current density is higher than other waveforms. A high current density at the tip of the electrode is produced due to the small area of the electrode. Local heating causes tissue destruction. Concentrated energy at the electrode tip causes heating with ionization and vaporization of water in tissues. Vapor expansion and tissue fragmentation ensues, enabling cutting of tissues. Effective cutting occurs without widespread thermal tissue damage. Coagulation diatomy waveform This waveform consists of bursts of high-frequency AC interrupted by periods of no current flow. The wave is intermittent or pulsed and damped. The ratio of periods of current to no current is typically 10% and 90% respectively. Vapor expansion does not occur as less energy is transmitted compared to cutting mode. Tissues are denatured rather than destroyed. Local tissue heating is more widespread than in cutting diatomy. Extensive local tissue destruction occurs. Blended diatomy The waveform consists of bursts of high-frequency AC interrupted by periods of no current flow. The ratio of periods of current to no current is typically 50-50. This mode allows for hemostasis during cutting. More thermal destruction is produced compared to cutting diatomy. Types of diatomy includes unipolar and bipolar. For unipolar diatomy, two connections to the patient exist, the neutral or indifferent patient plate and the active coagulation or cutting electrode. Mechanism of action Current flows through the patient via the active electrode and out 
via the large conductive pad placed on a nearby limb. Current density is high at the active electrode and high temperatures are generated there. Current density is low at the neutral patient plate and heating does not occur as the large surface area ensures that current density remains low. Measures to minimize the risk for capacitive coupling. The neutral plate is kept at earth potential. This reduces the risk of capacitor coupling where diatomic current may flow in the absence of direct contact. Usage of isolating capacitors in modern diatomy machines and usage of an earth-free or floating circuit. Bipolar diatomy uses two closely positioned electrodes, such as the two tips of a faucet. The current is localized to the instrument as it passes only from one electrode through nearby tissues to reach the other electrode, completing the circuit. Bipolar diatomy does not require a patient plate and uses lower power. This limits its efficacy in the coagulation of all but small vessels. The circuit is not earth. Current density and heating effects are same at both electrodes. Bipolar diatomy is used in neurosurgery or eye surgery where delicate control is needed and where current flow through the body may be harmful such as in patients with implanted pacemakers. Risk of diatomy. Thermal injury. Thermal injury may occur at the site of the indifferent electrode if it is not applied correctly. If the area of contact is small due to an improperly applied diatomy plate, the current density increases and the risk of thermal burns increases. Burns may occur at a metal contact point if the plate is detached or malpositioned. The diatomy current may flow to earth through any point at which the patient is touching metal such as at the ECG electrode and lithotomy poles. The point where the patient contacts that earth object may result in high current density, causing burns. Burns may occur at the area where the diatomy plate is placed over a metal prosthesis, such as a hip prosthesis. Current flows preferentially through the metal prosthesis due to its low resistance compared to tissue, thus generating a potentially dangerous current density and burns. Burns at the contact point of pacemaker or ICD electrodes inserted to the myocardium. This can scar the myocardium and render the device ineffective. If diatomy is unavoidable in patients with implanted pacemakers or ICDs, bipolar is preferred over unipolar diatomy. Operator error can cause unintentional damage to surrounding tissues. The active electrode of the diatomy may be activated although it is not in contact with tissue. This may also result in a burn if the circuit is completed by a route that does not include the indifferent electrode. Fire Arcing occurs when current is able to be transmitted across an air gap between the electrode and the skin as the air becomes ionized by the strong charge at the electrode. Arcing can cause fires and explosions of flammable materials. Alcoholic skin preparation solutions, drips and other flammable materials may be ignited after diatomy activation, pools of flammable skin prep solutions may be hidden beneath surgical drapes. Skin prep solutions should be allowed to dry before diatomy usage. Oxygen can accumulate beneath surgical drapes. Tenting of drapes allows dispersion of accumulated oxygen to reduce the risk of ignition from a spark. Usage of rebreathing systems such as circle system minimize leakage of gases. Avoid usage of high FiO2 whenever possible while maintaining adequate PaO2. Usage of high flow nasal oxygen or face mask for a sedated patient during diatomy on the face and eye poses a high risk for fires due to the oxygen enriched environment. Diatomy can cause interference with monitoring devices such as ECG. Measures to reduce this interference includes the usage of bandwidth filters, insulated wires and post processing software. Interference with implanted cardiac pacemaker function. These pacemakers may interpret diatomy noise as cardiac electrical activity and be falsely inhibited. This arrhythmias, reprogramming and microshock may occur. To reduce interference by diatomy towards cardiac pacemaker function, avoid diatomy if possible. If diatomy were to be used, use bipolar instead of unipolar diatomy whenever possible. The indifferent electrode should be sighted as far distant as possible from the pacemaker. 
If the use of unipolar diatomy is unavoidable, it should be deployed in short bursts. The return electrode should be located below the thorax. Keep the pacemaker out of the path between the surgical site and the return plate. Cutting diatomy causes more of a problem than coagulation diatomy. If the surgeon requests higher than normal power settings on the diatomy, the return plate and cable must be immediately inspected to ensure it is functioning and properly positioned. Diatomy electrode that is dropped or damaged must be removed immediately from the OR and thoroughly tested by a qualified biomedical engineer and replaced with a new one. Preparations for treating potential dysarrhythmia should be available, such as a magnet to convert the pacemaker to a fixed rate, defibrillator, and external pacemaker. Interference with implantable cardiac defibrillators Diatomy may be interpreted as cardiac fibrillation by implantable cardiac defibrillators and a defibrillation pulse may be administered unnecessarily, which can cause an actual episode of ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation. Implantable cardiac defibrillators can be protected from the effects of surgical diatomy by deactivation of the ICD but not the pacing function, such as by the application of a magnet or by use of a specific protocol to shut it off. Consult with someone experienced with the device before starting the surgery. The device can be typically reactivated by reversing the process. Preparations for treating potential dysarrhythmia should be available, such as defibrillator and external pacemaker. Diatomy can cause ischemia or infarction of structures supplied by fine end arteries, such as the penis and testes. Avoid unipolar diatomy during surgery on the penis. The testis has a vulnerable vascular pedicle. Macroshock and microshock can occur with diatomy since diatomy uses electric current. The exact mechanism for electrical shocks due to diatomy has not been elucidated. Low frequency 50 to 60 Hz stray current may be generated when diatomy is activated and these may cause ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation due to diatomy have been associated with the use of coagulation mode when the surgeon is using diatomy near the heart, and when the patient has a conductor in the heart, such as a central venous line or pulmonary artery catheter, kindly refer to the video discussing electrical safety for further details. Safety features of the diatomy Diatomy uses very high frequency current, which has minimal tissue penetration and does not cause excitation to contractile cells and passes across myocardium without ill effect. Usage of a neutral or indifferent patient plate. Heating does not occur as it has a large surface area and ensures that current density is low. To attain proper function of the return plate, ensure that the diatomy plate must be in close contact and even contact with a large area of skin at an area that is preferably well perfused, which will dissipate heat well. The return plate should have an appropriate amount of electrolyte gel. The return plate should have an intact return wire. Disposable plates should be checked to ensure that the electrolyte gel has not dried out during storage. Place the return plate as close as possible to the site of operation and ECG pads should be placed as far as possible from the site of operation. The outer case is earth. Isolating capacitors. Diatomy uses isolating capacitors to prevent the risk of capacitive coupling and macro shock. Isolating capacitors also allows high-frequency currents to pass, but resist low-frequency AC, which are more likely to cause VF. Earth-free circuit diatomy, also known as floating patient circuit. This is used to reduce the risk of burns to the patient. The following are not connected to earth. The patient, the tip of the diatomy forcep, and the patient plate. By isolating the return pathway from the ground, the only route for current flow would be via the return electrode. This should eliminate alternate return pathways and greatly reduces the incidence of burns. However, there are situations in which the current could return via alternate pathways even with the isolated diatomy circuit, such as if the return plate is left on the top of an uninsulated diatomy cabinet or if the return plate is in contact with the bottom of the OR table. Isolated diatomy circuits does not protect the patient from burns if the return electrode does not make proper contact with the patient. These are my references. Thank you.